It is the face that's of face Friday off. night. Peter Kivazo, Charles Rome, Shana but, Richard Baguma, Charles David Proulx. But, but that's why it's called a face off. Yes, Charles. <laughs> of course, I disagree with you. Oh, and, yes. uh, that, that's, that's what makes mm. it bad. That's what it so makes it So this army off. now, the current disposition of the army, it is threatening to intervene against the people of Uganda. If if and they are giving ifs. Mm -hmm. Yes, the people of Uganda have got a right to reject an election. And the people of Uganda have got a right to determine how they reject that election. Okay. And and they have they have elect, they have rejected elections before. They've gone to courts. Yes. We have not had a precedent other than what they did themselves. Because for them they are the ones who rejected elections through violence. Mm -hmm. And went to where and and in where you have not less than half a million scars. They rejected it. They rejected the elections. Since then, the people of Uganda have never rejected the elections through violence. So why is the president to begin threatening the people of Uganda? This, this, this army has that color that it will spray the people of Uganda, the way it's spraying those bedbugs if they reject elections. Election results. And, and, and uh, that means then its disposition is violence on the people. Violence. But, but who benefits from this violence? Now, let's go into history. Who has benefited from this violence other than them? The, 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 the violent history of Uganda. This is 1986. 80. Other than them, who have benefited at a political level? At a political level. It's them. It's them and, and they are not letting, letting go. They are not allowing any other methods of resolving contradictions through dialogue, through conversations, by the way, even amongst themselves. Because I remember Mr. Tinyofuza had dialogue with Mr. Museven in the State House. It was telecast live, and it was agreed he was going to live. Where has it ended? It has culminated into a violent seizure of Mr. Tinyofuza, dungeon, and is now in Ruzera. Because no, the, president, the president explained that in the last press conference he had. He that says, is his view. Now, yes, but I'm now, saying he explained now, that. He says uh, that... Uh, this imperial... This, so, uh, this imperial force you're talking about... <laughs> vis-a-vis -vis our neighbors uh, who decorated it who professionalized it who gave it ranks it was the late Abiyarmana. mr abiyarman in Lubiri. yes it's the late mr abiyarman who put pips on mr wijema where where knowing the background of the construction of the wijema unit in the nra because the consensus of the region was we can talk we can resolve our differences, we can resolve our contradictions through talking. We don't need to put the region into fire, into violence. What happened later? We invaded Rwanda. Charles. Didn't we? Charles, hold on. Oh, we can you change have, history. Charles, you have served on the precincts of this force, on the borderlines of this force. And when you talk, the Charles I'm listening to paints the UPDF a devil. Complete. How much of that devil are you? You don't I, have to I, wait the, until no, 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 Mr. Beni no, no, leaves I, I, I for certain truths to devil, come out. Let's talk about the devil because I, I do the rosary. The devil was with God and they had a conversation about Yubu. You know Yubu? She says, ah, this one you think Yubu. is with you? Let me, have a, let me deal with him and you check. And God said, surely, go and deal with him, but he shouldn't die. And the devil did it with, with you. So go throw on the question of the devil. He has been where you have not been. He's been in heaven and has had a conversation with the Almighty God. Uh, 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 what are you saying? The you, devil is you, in the you, details. You thought by calling UPDF an imperial force, it, it was a holy force. Then you didn't interrogate the meaning of an imperial force. You see, you didn't interrogate Charles, his character. Charles, 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 um, Charles, hold on. The picture you paint of the UPDF is of an army that shall decimate its people, that shall kill its people, that shall, 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 shall. And this is the character of a human being. Mm. If they think, and I've lived the, in this city. You saw the games? Oh, you saw the, the, the games, how they were? I, I've lived in this city. I remember that uh, driving from on Bombo Road, there were points on which you wouldn't drive. Mm. Driving on Massacre Road, there are points that were known to be death points. 
and those would happen. That is again the trial. I know as well, I know as well that there are so many people today that with a million shillings, with less, with a thousand shillings in their pocket, if they met an officer of the UPDF, they would have their heart run at the same rate. They wouldn't lose a heartbeat. That army cannot be devilish. Yes. No, it is the level. The, the, I mean, the command the, may have a problem. The, the, the political base may the people, have a problem. The people of Uganda. That army is not devilish. The people of Uganda are good people. The people of Uganda are good people. The problem is that they are unoccupied people. So, you, Mr. Chivazo, if you are taken into an occupied force, into an occupation force, because this is an occupation force. It would or it would orient you. What is your description? That? What is your description of an occupation force? For yes. all I know, is an occupation force should be a force that comes from foreign. never uh, foreign and comes and sits on the, these people. I, thought, yeah, I yeah. know for sure that the UPDF. I I would count so many of the officers that I went to school with that I know their homes, that I would count their fourth grandfather, mm. and I know where they are buried. And that is Habas, a Ugandan force. Ma Ma Hamoud, Hamoud, Mahmoud Abbas, hmm? of the Palestinian Authority, superintends over the Palestinians. They have an authority. He superintends over them. And they watch by it. They watch by it. Mr. Chivas. Uh, yes, Richard. Uh, 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 I, Richard Bagumo. I think I have also to protest the unfairness of the time I am given, or I am not given. <laughs> so, so you have us up? Yes, Richard. No, 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 I haven't. I have requested. Richard Bagumo. Why don't you allow me to finish this? I have Richard Bagumo. I have requested Mr. Richard Mr. Chivazo. Thank you time. very much. Mm. I think, Mr. Chivazo, uh, we must condemn wrongly the attempt to demonize Ugandans. Because Ugandans are good people. And Ugandans are those that the, the UPDF is constituted of Ugandans. So Ugandans outside the UPDF. Hello. <coughs> Hello. <laughs> no, Mr. Chivas. Ugandans in the UPDF are devils. Just one moment. Uh, viewers, when you're calling into the show, it's 0200 906672. 70 and when you call into the show, turn down the volume of your set and talk to us straight. When we say hello, talk to us. Yeah, so Ugandans, when they're in the UPDF, they are devils. Ugandans outside the UPDF, they are, devils? They are good. Uh -uh. So, but this attempt, for whatever reason, to sensationalize, to devorize, to demean, to undermine all the achievements of the UPDF here and regionally, I think must be condemned and condemned roundly. I think it's extremely unfair and, and beyond selfish, below selfish, to really attempt to do that. And I, I, I mean, really. And, and I, would, I would, because we went for a short break, you had to put that the views are not of this station because of your deep disagreement with these views, but Hello? also because we Hello? are allowing them to go on and challenge it. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, you. Uh, when a society allows madness to prevail, and then what? So, frankly... So you're becoming mad. Uh, uh, for whatever reason, for whatever anger, <laughs> for whatever problems you might have, please do not take everyone down with you. Please. Yeah, and, uh, what, what's the point? So uh, he's addressing me. All of you. Now... Uh, because I think, I think Pulkos, citizens need on, to understand hold, this. Hold on, that For me, I still celebrate the Ugandan army. We want, you may call it UPDF. We want to celebrate, it, uh, listen, Chief, we want to celebrate those positive achievements of our army. Is it national, in, in scope, in composition? And you've served in, with them. Yes, uh, and I want to say yes. Uh, is it professional in terms of skills, in terms of equipment, in terms of... Uh, uh, been to uh, schools and colleges? Yes. Is it, uh, uh, is it uh, in terms of good behavior, conduct, and so forth uh, compared to 
in, in terms of code of conduct and the majority yes but it has also had its own share of human rights abuses I would agree uh, with and that. therefore we don't have to sweep that below the table the, the table now uh, much as we want the public out there to know that our army is angels but there are those in this region who think that it has had imperialistic tendencies it doesn't it, it, it's other people okay but when you put evidence on the table and see how our own weapons, our own equipment, our people from our own army deserted to oh, invade hello. Rwanda. Hello? Or Ev as we, evidence of mass grief. I, I hear you. Uh, yeah. Of course, even, even those who, who brought the dead bodies to Lake Victoria, Chief. Mm. Uh, for they, were, they were UPDF. No, 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 no. I'm not saying so. I'm not saying so. This is a genocide. I'm not saying so. Yes, we have a caller. Can we talk to I'm not saying UPDF. Hello? Yes, talk to us. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Your name, question, or comment? Uh, John, what I'm saying? Yes. Uh, yeah, about the celebration. Mm. Yeah, I really, I am not thinking that you would celebrate about. I At the moment, okay. trust is running thin. Uh, you know, this is the problem. He says he doesn't see anything to celebrate about. Mm. Because these people are undoing their own achievements. Hello? <laughs> Hello, words. Charles. Charles can hear you talk to us. I'm, I'm, Charles, I'm happy to hear that you are mm. The only and positive part of it is that when the uh, when Peter is moderating, I don't know actually how many times we keep on playing as a screamer. And yet, some of us we are larger than we are close to the phone with the reason. Actually, I only see that when he begins to discuss, he has no clue, but just does not know what he will discuss. This is the character of the conversation. God is great. Thank you, Garissa. So Th that's the beauty of the show. You will disagree so and agree. There is office dome. Uh, hello. Official version, which you want to be public hello? opinion. Hello. Hello. Yes, talk to us. Good evening. Yes, how is Kamwenge? Talk to us, please be loud and do that fast. Yes, I appreciate that we celebrate Paris because that's very good. But then I would wish to know about the names like Nagara, like Aime, because for sure when we talk about them and they are just left in the ground, we don't get to know how they ended. So if those guys who are supporting everything, could tell us about those names and why their descendants are not being uh, looked at uh, within this government. Yet they are their grandfathers, their grandparents, or their fathers had paid for this that they are going to get paid. Then we are lost uh, on the way. So could they tell us about the Magaras, the Ainus, and their sons? Thank you very much. Thank you very much, the gentleman from, uh, that was Kamwenge. Kamwenge. Okay, I'll take uh, one other and then we'll come to David. Hello? 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 Talk to us, please. Yes, please, sir. Mr. Chirazo. Yes, talk to us. Uh, I'm glad to, I'm glad that you are Mr. Chirazo. I thank the gentleman in yellow. However, I want you to allow Mr. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, David. So I'm saying that uh, there must be two sides to this story. For 30 years, a particular narrative has been fed to Ugandans. One menu, which is so rosy, which is so one side, which praises it has been the, 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 the justice of the victor, those who are victorious. You never get to hear the other side, those who suffered 
from this liberation struggle, which either became victims of it or otherwise. You don't see the dark side. So the time is now for us to reflect. As we celebrate, we need to touch different sides of the, you need to, 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 to look at different, open different cupboards and, and bring the full story. Now, definitely when you hear the un inconvenient truth like uh, Romshana is, is raising. It is inconveniencing, but... But, but it's backed by UN reports. But, but that's what I'm saying. It is inconvenient truth. It is a truism by that... The, by the even Congo, one yeah, case in yeah. the International Court of Justice. And it is true, and we are yet to pay. Even this, uh, they're taking us to court again because we have not paid. So this is a truth that we were in imperialism. We looted Congo. We, we, co we, co we caused this. It is in, uh, and the people have won a court case internationally. You cannot take that away. Like that, for example, we went to Congo and somebody from Rwanda became the chief of defense forces. Their officers became brigade commanders, division commanders in another country. You know, so, so, so now today, now, now, now when they came back, I hear you. Definitive. But that, you see, there are people in this region who think this was expansion of the Tutsi Empire. Mugabe is one of those. Angola was one of those. We had to counter this kind of thing. But when you look back with hindsight and say, hey, that Kabarebe is now became the chief of defense. Now, you were deployed there. You now, I, I hear you. Brigadier Makenga. Now, you imagine. Now, you begin to say that hey, today is a minister of defense in Rwanda. Look, who is this was the, the CDF? Were we justified? Were we just an occupying force? Were we, David, were we an imperialistic force? David, hold on. I hear you. You see, you see where I disagree with the two of you? You see? Is you cannot reduce the whole force. No. 35 that, years to particular instances. You cannot Congo, also. You cannot Congo also. And uh, possibly the you must, uh, skirmishes in. We uh, must also, we must also and, come to terms but, with but that reality. About it. The core job it of could the force. Be, it could be a dominant the, view. Your dominant view. But allow the minority David, view to come out. The core job of a particular force is to ensure that within the borders of this country you're not attacked, Mr. Chibazo. <laughs> that you are protected. But you speak to what you, I'm saying. Makenga you, is M23, but he was in Luero. And he's Congolese. He's called Mr. Sultan. Chibazo, Mr. Eh? Chibazo, uh, <laughs> KK. <laughs> well, Napoleon <laughs> wasn't born in France, but Mr. he was Chibazo, the president I of hear France. You. Mr. Chibazo, yes. I, I, but are you, you see, the, are you allowed peace for this army? The, the Does dominant, it have a spokesperson? The dominant. Well, I'm a Ugandan. Yeah, the but, dominant. But, but allow the other view well, also. Allow the other yes, view yes, to dominant, come out. Why are you suppressing but, the other view? But, but Purko, the there is also. nothing good that the UPDF has done. That's your there is. I'm saying there is. But there's also the negative. Tell, tell the view. Right? Right? What is that good thing? Just talk very briefly right. because I need to hear Chayune. Yeah. The, the dominant. Because <laughs> I was, I was on and I was really taken off. But it's okay. The dominant force in the NRA was the Rwandese component. That was the dominant force. The leader of that. At some point. Oh no no. I, but I'm talking. You see, you are talking about the nucleus of that force, and it determines its mission. But who was the one? The 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 they were 27 uh, dominating, uh, the, uh, dominating uh, the 27. Uh, no, no, but you see, uh, uh, you see, uh, frankly, uh, let me understand Charles' math. Let me understand Charles' math. You begin at 27 along 27. the way. Yeah, yes. yeah, and you said the ones dominating the 27 are one day. I'm listening I'm to Charles. Not it's not me. Yeah, 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 we are very unknowledgeable. Yeah, Charles yeah, Romsha yeah. is the only knowledgeable. Ah, ah, ah. This is really untrue. The dominant force was uh, the the, the, the sorry you haven't spoken <laughs> the truth has to come Charles out. speak was the Rwandese force certainly their mission what, what what is dominant about two that you've counted out of 20 I'm not talking about the Kabamba attack mm -hmm. I'm not talking about the selection of the Kabamba please don't attack. reduce I'm talking the, about years the texture to, to of the Kabamba. NRA by the, by the time they even reached the massacre by the time they even assaulted, assaulted. Uh, and that is understandable. Oh, oh yes. Just, and and if their you mission went into an area that has refugees. So do you have an agreement? No life no. that have, do you have anything. But you see, they would offer to serve you. But you see, when he's force. constructing this force from Foronasa, he's with them. Do you have the history of their contact? When Mr. Seven contacts Kagame, so what are you saying? Mujema. When do we yes, hear yes, the other but side? But they also factor in the 1980 yeah. expansion. Yeah. When do we hear I, I the other the side? One. After they are gone? I'm not talking at justification <laughs> on how they come into it. <laughs> so, when you look at that force, it's a hybrid force. Say it's the state of Uganda to say it's the state of Rwanda. That's another view. And they did it to us. They became an occupation force. And they want to stay forever. For their mission. 
and went ahead and destroyed the state of Zaire. I want you to tell me a force that has been constructed that you know of that has destroyed more than four states other than the USA army. Tell me any. And the UN reports are very clear of what has taken place in the Congo. They are very clear. The, 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 I've heard you. Do we have had time even to discuss but but Sudan, yes, Somalia, uh, Central uh, Africa? The UN reports surely but, uh, are positive about the role of the UPDF. Mr. Baguma. <laughs> uh, first of all, Cheyune uh, has been the most civil on the show. Yeah, uh, yeah, first of all, I want to put on record that I've been taken aback by the am amount of venom that uh, Mr. Romushana, my former greedy president at Makere University, has unleashed against a force that the uh, majority of Ugandans really glorify. Glorify <laughs> and are proud of, <laughs> and even when, you, even if you are not proud of, you must be beneficiary of their sacrifice as an army. Uh, the military is not a partisan institution, but and even is. even the UPDF that we are discussing is not a partisan institution. However. <laughs> what Mr. Romushana is trying to, what Mr. Romushana has been laboring to do is to partisanize the UPDF just because he's a partisan. The so you would want to drag the army into the you corner. They sit in parliament. They sit on the same Mr. party. Romush with Mr. Mr. David, Kuroko. David, allow Cheyune to yeah. speak. Cheyune they did are not, not interrupt. They are not all. partisan, yes. But they we'll have the to speak. So, uh, to, the to the extent that he went on to tell <laughs> lots of lies, <laughs> yeah, just for a, a, a very bad motive. For instance, his statement that the, the, the UPDF has been trying to erode, to, to destroy cultures, to destroy heritage, I do not know if... What they have done to come, Swami? I do not know I if speak. internal <laughs> strife is a heritage that people should be proud of. Because even when we talk about the UPDF in Somalia, it is a force that is restoring peace, sanity, and the integrity of the, 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 the people of Somalia. So if it is reorganizing what because has been disorganized. The last time we attacked, place, they were saying we place, attack people in a wedding. Our if force there is a people place in a where the UPDF hmm? has actually she, worked, Somalia and people in a wedding? largely regarded as exemplary, hmm? it has been Somalia. You would fault UPDF in the Congo. You would fault them in South Sudan. You wouldn't do that in if the Somalia. If it is true, our forces yeah. attacked now, by the way. Now, uh, in, South Sudan, in addition, in reports rare gentlemen, have been positive. Uh, in addition, when you talk about that the people have a right to reject an election. Mm. Actually yeah. have a duty. Yes. But they have only a right to accept the but results. But what Mr. Romushana is trying to <laughs> no right to reject is teaming up with those who want to incite violence. And I do not believe that inciting violence or violently uh, rejecting an election is a right. But the UPDF did it. It is not a right, it is a crime. No, Mr. Che Yune, to Mr. be very honest it. with you, UPDF is a result of rejecting elections. UPM had only 79 no. candidates in no. that no. election. There is no way can UPM would have won person. that election. Can I listen to one yeah. person? Let yeah. us agree. That that could have been wrong. Was but why should, commit, why should we no, commit? Why should we commit another not wrong? wrong. Yeah. Why should we commit another wrong? Then mm -hmm. when you say the army has never allowed dialogue, Museveni or even for that defeated. matter, government. I remember very well, and that is uh, I think when my colleague here was very active, uh, when the, there was the UPDM. U U UPM. Uh, no, no, no. UPDM in the north, the Odong Latek, and so on. Now, how did these the people? Dollars, the how did these people come out? Now, because even when Romshana talks about uh, uh, hordes and grooves of of, of 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 recruits into the military, he's, he da, he forgets uh, the forces <coughs> that came from the north that joined, and out of them now we have got a, a number of brigadiers and major general and so on. Now, they negotiate. That was a negotiation. He says. The UPDF does not like negotiation. Just this LRA. The LRA disappeared or was decimated 
by two fronts. One dialogue and two. This means through dialogue. Yes. Mbuya was attacked. So, they say by thugs. So Jesus says a hoax. Then it is amended. It is by LRA. <laughs> And then you have three people in the court martial. Paka tomorrow you don't see them. <laughs> we I, need to know the truth. I have grown respecting Mr. Puruko as an intellectual. And that's why I'm putting, I did not expect. I'm putting facts I did not on the expect table. to interrupt in this road. <laughs> <laughs> I am putting facts. I love the black man. You respond. Like no, you man. respond to the issues I'm, say, I'm raising here. No, you raise them politely. Polit pol 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 you need to know the background. Now let me raise. Let me no, no, finally, 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 finally. No, you don't leave this point. Let me raise this politely. They attack. They attacked us at Konakra. They came singing, and we really massacred them. Those are words of Mr. Mseli. The souls. Who heard the NRA. We shall so wipe them. I'm quoting him, Bamba Tiyo. They hey. came singing at Kona Krak, and we really massacred them. Who what were, mind is it? First, of all, first of all, ask yourself, who were those singing, and what was their, what was their motive as they were sang, singing, moving, moving to do what? Carrying stones. No, with carrying moya, stones moya, to do <laughs> Moya will no. that it will return. No. You see, David, David, mm -hmm. David, David, you had a job to spy on those guys. Listen, the LR, exactly I had a contract with the government. Us, are you telling us that as the chief spy of this country watching over these guys, when you that you to actually them. told the president of this country lies? No, I told him, that, uh, I told him that LRA is Kony is there and even give them somebody to escort them where Kony is. Now they mismanage it. Kony runs away, they come with a kaunda so, suit. So the but, you did we send you for a kaunda uh, suit? Uh, the the Kony you are following, David Pulko, you are telling now, me that all we send you a TV is here, and Moyela then you say oil. we have got so a walking stick of, a of a TV set. Did we send you for a walking stick? Uh, why did you want a man? We with gave Moyela you intelligence. Listen, we give you intelligence. You mismanage it, and you come celebrating a kaunda suit, celebrating a walking stick. No, excuse me. You no, don't know see, how I felt Cheyune, Cheyune. as a head of so, intelligence. So, uh, and I go ahead to get you intelligence. Cheyune, you please money. wrap this up. Yes. We have to get out of here. My appeal to uh, Mr. Womushana and everybody else. Currently, that, you are ones to arm crime preventers to do what? No, he's talking even to those ones. Even everybody NTPD? else. No, no, even that, the crime that's preventers. another matter. You want yeah. wants to arm civilian to do what? Well, so, viewers, we have to get out of here. It will never end. Yeah. Yeah. It's it never always so. a pleasure. But always a pleasure are, to look the full sides. Sides. others down with you. There are two sides. There are two sides to the NRA, UPDF. Can I hear you my voice? There are two down sides. Down there is the positive side. There is the negative <laughs> side. So the public, make your judgment. It's a pleasure always to sit in on a Friday night and enjoy the show, agree and disagree with the guys on the table. Thank you, Chayune, for me, and thank you all of you. Good night.